one of the things I've found over the last um, 20 plus years of trekking myself is that it's absolutely impossible to just do one or two treks. And we see that with people who come back year after year after year. A very, very large number of people have done more than 25 treks and an enormous number of people have done 10 treks or more. It simply gets in your blood. Um, it's the people, the countryside, um, the resilience of the characters that you would meet and, and we're able to come into town. We try very hard to spend our money with the community groups in the town and inject you know, you know, five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars of cash plus you know, eight thousand litres of fuel, uh, twelve hundred meals a day in the middle of nowhere um, and the occasional cold beverage as well. Um, I often get asked why did I take on the Outback Car Trek as an event as something to do and I certainly saw an opportunity for um, for me to give something back to a life that's been very kind, very kind to me over the years. Um, and, and as I say, it's just a wonderfully humbling experience to work with people who give up so much of their time and so much money and work so hard to make sure that they can assist the RFDS, provide much needed health care to people they've never met and in all likelihood are not ever going to meet. Um, and the RFDS with its clinics, and uh, it's, it's emerging health services, it's dental programs um, and much, much more that it offers is um, helping those people to, to keep the economy ticking over because um, cattle don't grow in Pitt Street, as we know. Um, if you want to grow thousands of cattle, you've got to grow on thousands of acres. So excited to announce that Trek 2019, which is our 30th event, um, will start on the 3rd of June in Renmark in South Australia. Um, and through places like um, the Flinders Ranges, up the Birdsville Track, past Mount Isa, through Adele's Grove, into Gulf and Savannah country, around Hell's Gate and Doomagee and Borrelula and Mataranka, and then, of course, um, Kakadu and Jabiru. And it is our absolute commitment to the Flying Doctor that by the time we get to Darwin on the 14th of June 2019, at the end of our 30th trek, we'll have raised $30 million to allow the RFDS to continue to provide that mantle of safety that John Flynn first spoke about back in 1928 on that very first flight out of Cloncurry.